Hey guys, James here, and for this Tech MNO Blitz video, we will do an update to my first tutorial on how to use screen share on your Facebook Messenger, what has been changed, and what are the things you need to know. But before we begin, I would appreciate if you go like, comment, and click the subscribe button with the notification bell so that you'll never miss a brand new video from me. And if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to join the giveaway. Links down in the description or in the card popping right now. Let's now go start our updated tutorial. So if you didn't know the screen feature yet, here's a quick rundown. The screen share feature from the messenger lets you share your phone screen with everyone in the chat. With its feature, you will be able to see content that is actively displayed on the user's screen. Currently, this feature is available on PC, Macs, iOS devices running iOS or iPadOS 9.0 and newer, and on Android phones that run on version 7 and higher. However, there are some old devices that don't have this screen share feature that I will highlight here. In case that you are running a newer device but you don't have this feature yet, maybe it's not yet rolled out on your account since it is still in a soft beta phase. In this tutorial, I will use two Android phones, my daily driver phone Huawei P20 Lite, and a Redmi Note 7, but you can do the same or different combinations of either an Android, iOS, PC, or Max. On the conversation page of the person you are talking to, press the video chat button or if the other person is calling you via video chat, accept the call. Once the video chat is starting, you will see a new interface of Facebook Messenger. All of the buttons are laid out in the bottom part of your screen. Now, you will see a long pill icon in the middle of the screen interface and swipe it up to reveal the other buttons including the share your screen button. Click it to reveal a pop-up window and it will ask you to start the screen sharing feature. This is in the Android version, but here's the interface you are using if you're on iOS, PC, or Mac that I will show here. Once the screen share is now activated, the person on the other side will see your screen or you will see the screen of the person on the other line. There might be some delays on the shared screen for about 2-4 to four seconds, but it will depend on the internet connection stability. Please do note that if you're using this as a watch-along type of sharing, you need to open your microphone. Also, some apps on the smartphones will not work properly like the apps from Amazon, Netflix, YouTube, and other streaming services due to copyright issues. Once you're finished, you just need to click the stop icon on the pop-up window on the app or if you're using a picture-in-picture -picture mode on Android, click the two phones with the screen record logo to stop the screen sharing or just end the call. And you're done! And that's how you use the screen sharing feature on your Messenger app. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this to your friends and relatives so that the algorithm will suggest this very useful tutorial to more people worldwide. And follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts at TechMNO. Again, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one.